Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about day of year chart or a time series plot using day of year parameter. Day, plotting using a day of year parameter is uh, useful um, for various purposes. The first one is if you are interested to uh, understand if there is seasonal pattern on a data, on a time series data, that's uh, um, a useful uh, thing to do to investigate if you know seasonality of um, a time series data, uh, plotting uh, that data uh, using day of year parameter uh, is very important. Another um, useful um, thing to uh, do a day of year plot is if you are interested to investigate or understand um, interannual variability or if there is change uh, in that uh, time series data from one year to the other. Uh, so plotting day of year by year instead of region would be a very useful thing to understand uh, interannual variability in, in a data. So here in, in, in uh, Honors Engine, in this example, we'll use the MODIS uh, satellite um, instrument data, uh, NDVI data, um, and a sample um, point generated uh, to uh, extract data for our uh, uh, day of year chart. Let's, um, let's define this uh, geometry point um, and uh, draw a 2,000 uh, meter or 2 kilometer buffer around that and let's plot that. Excellent. Okay, so this is the study area that I, f I chose for this um, analysis. So we'll try to extract the MODIS data using this uh, region or study area and uh, generate a plot. And let's, the second thing is let's uh, import the image collection, the MODIS um, uh, image, um, image collection from the MODIS instrument. Um, and filter it by date. So for this example, since I need a uh, time series data, I start from 2000 to 2014, uh, a few years of data. And also um, filter bound uh, define the sample point that I generated here, the circle. So it will provide me data, this time series data um, over uh, this uh, region that I defined already. And, you know, to visualize that, let's generate, uh, calculate a mean uh, of this collection so that we, um, you know, visualize that on Earth Engine. Define a visualization parameter and import this uh, mean over the entire year uh, on the clip it by the sample point that we generated. Um, let's see how it looks like. Excellent. So this is NDVI data over uh, a mean of uh, uh, mean of NDVI uh, within this region uh, during the entire um, period. But for our uh, DO, um, day of your chart, we're not using this image. This is just a mean for the entire year. For our um, uh, DOI time series plot, we need the original raw data for the. the that spans the entire study period from 2001 to 2011 so that we'll have a time series okay so let's start uh, plotting our chart a uh, day of your chart so i'll uh, name it chart one and um, provide this um, chart parameter um, or uh, algorithm and the image could provide the image collection the raw image collection which we have um, defined here uh, here so I'll give that image collection. That means it will go through that entire image collection and um, extract uh, using this region sample point that we have defined and um, compute some mean for within this uh, region uh, and a spatial resolution of a 500 meter. So that's our first um, chart. The second chart, uh, the day of your chart is we want to plot uh, not, not a, a, a time series, uh, using a day of year for the entire time series, but we want to split it by year. So we want to understand uh, if there's any uh, variation between the, the different years. So that will help us um, uh, understand internal variability. So this one is DOI series. This is uh, chart two is DOI series by year. So this will um, give us um, um, uh, a year as a parameter. 
and finally I'll print both chart 1 and chart 2 uh, so that I'll have them uh, here on the right side of the console it's uh, printing uh, once it completes uh, generating the chart, the chart it will uh, uh, give us uh, a nice looking plot like here. Uh, so this is the first chart, the first uh, day of your time series. So the the, the advantage for this kind of chart is um, this is uh, spanning from 2011 to, to 2014 across those years. So the advantage to this kind of um, time series is to understand if if there's season out pattern. In, in the data. So there's a peak over this time of the year and uh, you know decline uh, nearly a flat on on the beginning of you know the year and at the end of the year. So it will um, uh, show us some sort of seasonal pattern in the data. The other chart too is a day of year but we have um, the, the, the different years um, are plotted um, separately. So, so that we can understand the interannual variability variation from year to year. For example, here in 2013, uh, you can see the orange color. You can see that there's a, a pretty much a low uh, data point, and you know it needs uh, it warrants another investigation if you were to do some uh, sort of research or analysis with using this data. So clearly, we can identify variation from year to year. So day of year by year has some advantage if you're interested to understand interannual variation whereas a simple um, the regular day of year um, you know plot will help us to understand if there's seasonal pattern in the data uh, so this these two options are examples that i attempted to demonstrate uh, showing you how to uh, uh, plot day of 